What is up guys, I am back with a new video. Uh, I apologize, it's been a couple of weeks since my last upload. Uh, I've been sick and trying to recover from that and then it was kind of, last couple of days it's been kind of hard getting back into the swing of things. But that's what this video is going to be all about. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys my opinion on uh, just good ways to get out of a rut if you're stuck in one or you're just getting a little too bored with your life I guess or you just feel like every day is the same, which I guess is a rut, so I'll just stop over explaining it and get into the video. Okay, so first off, it's probably good to recognize that uh, you're not like some failure or a uh, horrible person, you're not doing anything right or anything like that because everyone, literally everyone, goes through a, a rut once in a while. It's easy for it to start happening really because if you think about it, most of us have uh, something consuming our life that kind of shapes our schedule, whether it's school, work, or if you're really lucky, sometimes both. And that can really uh, just basically plan our days for us and we just uh, react to the day that way instead of uh, controlling what you're doing, I guess, in a way. But yeah, most people, in my opinion, are uh, usually reactive rather than proactive. So what this basically means is uh, we react to whatever uh, life throws at us, basically, which is true. I mean, we all, that's most of our life. Our life is basically us reacting to stuff. But there's also, uh, to a certain extent, you can control how you react to it and how you feel going into those certain moments and stuff like that and how to keep yourself going, which I believe most of us should do things, but most of us don't. But yeah, it really is easy for uh, having these things that are part of our lives every day that are things that we just have to uh, do and we can just get like caught up in it and it can get really draining and stuff like that. But that, for, for starters though, that's why it's extremely important that you have to make sure that you're loving what you're doing, whether it's school, work, uh, like your hobbies, whatever. You gotta make sure you're really enjoying it. Now obviously, even if you have a fantastic job, you like going to school, you're in the right, uh, you're in the right program for your future and all that stuff, that's going well. It's still obviously going to get difficult at times. But genuinely speaking, uh, you're going to enjoy it a lot more. That's a rant for another day though. Uh, anyways, I posted about this on uh, Instagram and Facebook the other day and uh, it really is true. Like if if you do get stuck in a rut, don't, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm stuck in a rut and this is horrible and stuff like that and this is a pain in the ass. Like I'm, I feel like crap, I'm depressed. I. Uh, like you know I just feel stuck doing the same thing I feel trapped stuff like that but it's a good thing in a way because it really does remind you that yeah you're doing the same stuff over and over again you should maybe wake the hell up and do something to fix it and being stuck in a rut doesn't necessarily mean you're doing the wrong things but maybe it just means you're doing too much of the same thing but yeah now I'll get into uh, my opinion of and what you should do to get yourself out of a rut and honestly it it's not that difficult obviously at the time you're probably not feeling so great and it might be hard to figure out something but just like step out uh, of your body for a second. Just really like evaluate what you're doing right now and why you're not enjoying it. And think of one thing that you could be doing that might make things a bit easier or different or something or something something uh, something different that you could do that'd be more efficient or something that'd make you more make whatever you uh, you're doing more enjoyable or, or whatever it is. But yeah, I'll share with you guys uh, an example. Uh, example that I did in terms of uh, just kind of being stuck in a rut and fixing myself with, with it, I guess. Um, so as most of you guys know, uh, I'm working on a book right now. Uh, it should be, should be out, I'm hoping, within the next couple of weeks. It's all done for them, like, pretty much. I got, like, my, uh, got my title set up. Uh, I got all my, like, banking information set up on Amazon, stuff like that. Uh, I'm just waiting on it to get revised, and then I just have to get a cover made. So... Should be done soon. Anyway, uh, I started working on it back in February or something like that, late February, maybe beginning of March. And you know, I made I made decent progress with it. Nothing nothing insane, but I, I figured out what I was going to do, and then I started writing it and all that. I probably got about three thousand words or so done on it over a month and a half, which is absolutely like that's not much for that amount of time. Um, but during that whole time, I wasn't, uh, I really didn't feel focused working on it at home. And I knew I wanted to change my surroundings, but I just wasn't comfortable with going somewhere else, like to a certain public place or whatever to work on it. Eventually though, I was like, fuck it, I really want to get this done. I know doing something different is going to be best for me, even though I'm not extreme, like I'm not comfortable with it yet. But how bad could it be? But yeah, so I started going to Starbucks probably like late April or something like that to start working on my book. and. The progress I made on it, guys, is absolutely insane. Uh, like I said, I had about 3,000 words or so on my book, and then within like two and a half weeks, and I didn't even go to Starbucks every day for these two and a half weeks, probably like, 
I probably went there like seven to ten times during like a maybe two and a half to three week span, and I finished my book. <laughs> I finished the rough copy. Uh, I probably quadrupled what I had already written. Like I think my book's probably going to be around uh, twelve thousand words or so. And when I started, I only had three thousand. I've never been so productive on writing something in my life, guys. And it, it just it felt extremely refreshing. And I was like, wow, this is this is great. Like I've never had such a sense of productivity before. Um, in school and all that, I was always someone to do something the last minute and like, uh, or even just work on something in general. Like I wasn't that good at just like zoning in on something like that for like three or four hours and just going uh, and doing all that. And it felt amazing. So now I know when I start school in September, I'll be definitely camping at Starbucks. Uh, that's honestly probably the, one of the biggest changes I've made to my uh, routine, I guess, in the last like month or so. Whenever there's like a lot of stuff I need to get done, and it involves like being on my computer or just like writing stuff or whatever. Uh, definitely going to a different uh, like surrounding uh, works a lot better. Yeah, doing something like that, uh, I know is probably not even going to be the best for everyone to hear. But that's just an example of me doing something different of uh, my like daily routine or something that I wanted to accomplish at least, and something that made it easier for me to accomplish that thing and just really focus in on it better. Point being, if you really want to change uh, your routine or you feel like you're really trapped and stuck doing the same thing every day, just make one change. One change, whether it's like going to this place or talking to some, or like meeting up with someone you haven't seen in a while. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're getting sick of all your friends you see every day and you want to see someone else. Get out of your comfort zone and talk to someone that you haven't talked to in a while. That's something I really need to work on too even. Um, I love my friends and all that stuff, but there's a lot of people that uh, I really haven't seen or talked to in a while that I'd like to. Um, so that's something I definitely want to work on. But it's tough because you're because really getting uh, yourself out of a rut is really uh, the biggest answer for it is stepping out of your comfort zone. I've really started to notice that over the last couple of years because when we uh, do these same things every single day, we get comfortable with it. Therefore it's hard to do something different and it's uncomfortable doing it. But once you do it, you're like, wow, this is amazing. Glad I did this. Then you start getting addicted to it. And like, okay, I want to try this new thing. And then the easier it becomes, uh, the next time you get stuck in be like, okay, I know I just need to like evaluate what's going on here, why I'm feeling this way and, um, and what it is you want to accomplish. And then once you realize all of that, you'll be like, okay, I think I maybe need to do this or I try this or something like that. I'll give you guys one other example and I can personally guarantee it's probably going to help half of you. Um, most people, when uh, they wake up, they hit the snooze on their alarm or they don't want to get out of bed, they feel immediate anxiety the second they wake up. And trust me, I can relate to that 100%. I know exactly, exactly how you feel and I still deal with a decent amount, but uh, over the past couple of years, I've really learned how to control it and how to really get myself in the right mindset to start my day. I'll dive deeper into it uh, in, in another video, but I have a morning routine where I really let my mind and body uh, wake up and start uh, functioning properly and I really just ease into the day rather than um, wake up and start getting the immediate anxieties, whether it's from uh, stuff on my phone or stuff in my head or things I'm gonna to have to do that day or whatever. Take time for yourself. Do some things that you like to enjoy. Uh, for me, like I'll give you a few examples of what I do first thing in the morning. Um, I, I, you know, it's probably bad. I should probably start just jumping right out of bed and get moving. But I like uh, just you know taking it easy, laying in bed for five, 10, 15 minutes. But yeah, I like to just kind of like lay in bed, rest a little bit uh, after I wake up, like most people do, I'm sure and uh, I'll play some uh, music or something like that or watch like some YouTube videos just to kind of wake myself up, do something I like uh, doing. And then usually after uh, I get up out of bed, first thing I'll do, uh, I'll stretch out my body a little bit, obviously, because you're laying down for, you know, six to eight, nine, ten hours or whatever it is. And you're, so your body's pretty stiff, loosen up a bit. Then I just take some deep breaths, kind of get like some air flowing in my body. Um, I'll drink probably like a liter or so of water, something like that, at least like two or three cups of it. Um, I have this like little mini trampoline in my room. Here, I'll show you. It's right, right down there. So I'll hop on that thing for like five, 10 minutes and that's it's a good core workout. You really get your body moving. Um, it eliminates a lot of the toxins in your body and uh, doing this, it's really easy on your joints too. So uh, even if you know I was really sore from my workout yesterday, it's no problem doing it because you're just bouncing. It's really all it is. 
and um, and then while I'm doing that, I'll just kind of uh, I'll really just kind of slow things down in my head and just think about okay, what do I want to do today? Uh, how am I gonna do this? What should I do first? And all that stuff. And then uh, usually, um, and I got a whiteboard in my room too, so I can write stuff down after I get off that, or I'll just uh, or I'll just make like a notepad in my laptop or just a piece of paper on my desk or something like that, and I'll just kind of plan out uh, what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it, and um, you know the more important things to do and uh, what should I do first, second, third, and all that, um, and that really uh, it really calms you down. Uh, a lot. That's that's what I do anyway. Do whatever it is that helps you. I think this is extremely important because you really got to make sure that you're taking care of your uh, your body and mind because it's going to make your day a hell of a lot easier and you're going to be a, way more productive. You're going to get done all the things you need to get done, and uh, you're just going to be a better person if you take time for yourself uh, first thing in the morning. Really, just puts you on uh, the right. It really gets your day off to the right start, and uh, I think everyone should have some type of morning routine. But I'll definitely dive into that in another video. But uh, yeah, guys, those are just a few things uh, to get yourself out of a rut. Now, uh, honestly, what I've done to get myself out of a rut is different than what you guys might have to do. But just simplest advice I can give, just think of one simple thing that you can do differently that could make your day better, easier, whatever. Just something that'll make things different and uh, that'll make you feel a lot better. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And if I didn't really help you out in this video, uh, comment down below. Uh, let me know. Ask me what problems you're having and I'll try and help you as much as I can. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. More videos coming soon and I'll see you in the next video.